Hey guys, um, yeah, as you can see, I already shaded in my eyebrow. I'm outside, so excuse the background. I shaded in my eyebrow and just trying to let you guys see that because the mirror was like right in front of me and so was my camera. I'm recording off of my phone, so yeah. So make sure the front of your eyebrow is light and towards the end of your eyebrow it's dark you don't want it to be dark all over sweetie that's the no-no so yeah okay. yeah so i'll be priming my face with the same primer that i used in the previous video Absolute value. I'll list all the makeup that I used. So you put it on your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, your chinny chin chin, and above your lip. And then you rub it all in. That's all you do, sweetie. I got big old hands, man. <laughs> So this concealer that, um, that I'm using is from LA, LA Girl, LA Pro Conceal. It's toffee. I'm looking kind of crazy, but it's whatever. So I'll be applying the concealer underneath my eyebrow. First thing first, you don't want the concealer touching the eyebrow pencil only if necessary, if, only if you overdrew over or overdrawn whatever your eyebrows and make sure you take your time with it because the last thing you want is some messed up jacked up looking eyebrows <laughs> you don't want that I've been there before you don't want that to happen And for the first time ever, my eyebrows look like twin sisters. In other words, they actually look alike. Compared to other times, boy, I tell you. They don't always have to look like twin sisters, by the way. I'm highlighting my top brow. I'm sorry, I just got attacked by a bug. <laughs> you see how focused I am? As you can see, I'm finishing up the other brow. Then soon I'll be blending out the concealer with the sibling brush. I think that's the name of the brush. I got the brush from Morphe. Or you could just call it Morph. So yeah, don't forget the LA Pro Conceal LA Girl Toffee and the sibling brush Morph or Morphe. So this is where I start blending out everything. You just gotta keep on blending and blending and blending and blending until there's nothing else for you to blend. You wouldn't want the concealer that you applied to look harsh. You know? So you just gotta keep blending.
Do you see how popping that is? Well, I think my eyebrows look nice. What do you guys think? You just gotta blend for your life. Your hand might get tired, by the way. Yeah. But you know what? It's totally worth it. You just gotta trust the process. And now it's all blended out. And voila. Hey guys, I'll be applying a slit to my eyebrows. You don't need an actual razor unless you want to put an actual slit in your eyebrow. So I'll be using an angled brush. I'll be using the same concealer that I applied onto my skin, which is Toffee from LA Girl LA Pro Conceal. As you can see, I um, smooth out the brush. You don't want your brush to look wild and unruly. And I'm gently tapping the brush onto the concealer and you just gently tap on your eyebrow where you want the slit to be specifically don't just press it hard just gently tap it you know and my hand was shaking I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> that And I was just blending out the concealer that um, touched underneath my eyebrow. But don't worry about the concealer that you put on your eyebrow to make So guys, this is the part where I'll be applying the concealer that I want to be highlighted. The parts that I want to pop the most, I guess you can say that. And whatever spots that, you know, that's dark on my face. Under my eyes, my eyelids, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chinny chin chin, and below my lip. So yeah. Oops, sorry guys. It's just these freaking bugs out here. And I apply a good amount, so when I blend everything out, it's kind of like full coverage. And you put it on your nose. Hey guys, you know, I'm just blending everything out now with my beauty blender. You just gotta blend, blend, and blend, and blend. Blend for your life until there's nothing else for you to blend. Not like wipe the concealer off your face, but you want everything, everything to be blended out perfectly. You don't want to blend it too hard. It might hurt your poor face. <laughs> your pretty face. And you see what happened there. I was blending the eye part a bit too hard. I don't know what got in my eye, but just now it was bothering me. As you can see. You just keep on blending just make sure that your booty blender your beauty blender is wet you know not too wet because you don't want your concealer or whatever you're applying to your face to look splotchy you know sometimes what works for me like even though my concealer here came out you know nice well blended 
out with the beauty blender. I use a dry beauty blender to blend out the ends. Sometimes that works. And just keep blending for your life, guys. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. And just blend and blend and blend. And don't forget to trust the process. All done. So I did something kind of extra. I applied another concealer to make the under eyes look lighter and my eyes. I use Warm Honey LA Pro Conceal LA Girl. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Now it's now let me try this again. Now it's time to start contouring your face. You know, right underneath your highlight. Like where your hairline ends. You know. You gotta be careful sometimes because it can be very thick so right there I'm concealing because I heard that it makes your lips look more full it looked weird at first but it actually worked you know even though I didn't find any lip gloss it worked so it made my lips look nice and full so yeah I'm contouring my nose You already know I'm gonna say y'all gotta blend everything out for your life one thing you don't want to mess up is your contour I mean that's another thing you don't want to mess up because if your highlight is on point and your contour is off point your makeup is not gonna look great I've been through it and I don't want y'all to go through it either and I'm doing like a little square right there to make my chin look smaller you know Gotta make everything look good. I look like I got a So I might be making a few crazy faces because you know I'm just blending out my contour. So yeah. Sorry for being not in the camera. For not being in the camera. When blending that part of your face, make sure you're blending upwards. I know you guys can see it, can't see it, and I apologize. Now you can. See the big difference? Don't mind my silly faces. And being dramatic. <laughs> to my face under my eyes on my nose and then I ended up applying it everywhere because I just you know that's just me and I applied on my cubist bowl my chin and my forehead I kind of applied on my brows too 
and I got this setting powder from Walmart. I love this setting powder. I tell you it's true. If you end up using it and your makeup ends up being too white, apply face powder to that area. Pack the face powder on and just keep on running. Don't dust it off a bit too hard because your face might look spotty spotty. I mean, um, you know, like some of your makeup might, might come off. So, yeah. And be careful when you apply it under, you know, your nose, above your lip, because you don't want to, um, you don't want to end up sniffing your setting powder. Hey y'all, yeah, I'm using the Saharan 2 palette, Juvia's Place. I'll be using the beautiful brown color, and yeah, I'm just gonna apply it underneath the setting powder. You're just gonna blend upwards, you're gonna be dusting off the setting powder, kind of, you know, but not all of it, yeah, in this moment, in this process at this time. And I, I was kind of was like packing it on. So that part could look kind of sharp even though I didn't cut my contour. But you know. And I was blending upwards. And you just keep on blending and applying the powder. And the amount that is needed. If you apply a bit too much, you gotta blend it out in a rough way, but not too rough to the point where you ruin your whole entire face. You get what I'm saying? Adding more around the chin area, the cheeks area, the forehead. I didn't apply any cream contour to the forehead area because you know, that's just me, that's my option. And I'm applying it right there, feel me? It's gonna look weird for now, but you know what? You're gonna blend everything out. Just keep on blending and blending and blending and blending and applying. As you can see, that's Kobe Cobes in the back. I'm gonna put his YouTube username channel, you know, <laughs> below. Yeah, so you guys go and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, I remember because I have a bad memory. But yeah, it's gonna, it looks harsh right now, but it's really, it's, everything is coming together. Just know that. And in this moment, I'm dusting everything off. When doing your makeup, you know, it's important to have good lighting. You don't want to have bad lighting. And after you're done with your makeup, don't get stressed out if your face looks too pale. Sometimes it takes 
a while for your makeup to bake. So yeah. As you can see, I'm doing the dusting part. It's a process. Excuse my face, the face I just made. So, yes, I am blending the freak out of my forehead, okay? I'm trying to work this way. Just so, blend um, and blend and blend. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything, man. Where's my big forehead girls at? <laughs> Are you dreaming? You sure? As you can see, yeah. Too harsh to blend that sucker out. You must be dreaming. <laughs> As you can see, everything is coming together. So blend my loves. Blend. Blend with me. <laughs> As you can see, I took a deep breath because, boy, let me tell you guys, I was burning up, okay? So this is a quick beat, a light beat for the summer. I will have a makeup routine, makeup tutorial coming this winter also, this fall also, you know, for the cold weather. Cold weather. Can't even talk straight, man. But yeah, I'm using the Too Faced powder, face powder, bronzer, deep tan, and you know, I'm just applying it to other areas, and you know, I do that to balance everything out, you know. Like I said, honey, you just gotta keep blending and just applying what's needed. See, like I said, trust the process, guys. Onto a specific part of my nose, as you can see on the video, because I want my nose to look more pinched, more defined, or whatever. Yeah.
So I'll be applying setting spray after everything is done. I'll be applying more glow, except that it's going to be more glittery, so everything could pop more since it's going to be like a natural summer glowy look, a go to a go to look, you know, a quick makeup routine. And in the end, I'll be sorry that I used the wrong brush. That's it. I know, right? <laughs> I feel you. And I kind of overdid it. <laughs>